Welcome back. Now we turn to one artist whose recent work looks back at a day six years ago and its impact on the world we live in today. A lot of people might think what's happening here in this wall is, is such a dark view of the world, but see, for me as an artist, I see completely the opposite. I, I think in life, if you don't know what you're dealing with, you cannot look for the solution. And then we go back to the, the, the main piece here where they hold in the piece of ashes here. And, and it's really, if we're not conscious what's going on, how can we make things better? With me now is fine artist Duda Pendiallo, creator of the Beauty for Ashes project, which can be seen now through March 2nd at the Jersey City Museum. And also joining us is Marion Greshak, executive director of the Jersey City Museum. First of all, why did you feel it was important to develop this art installation six years after 9-11? Well, my, my history goes back six years when I saw uh, the Old Trade Center falling. The buildings are, uh, you know, falling apart in a day off. And I was on the other side of the river on top of a building, the Morgan Building in Jersey City. And um, that was an image in a time that I will never forget. So I begin to think about, as an artist, what could I have done, what can I do as an artist to, to voice that, to create dialogue. And how do you think the world we live in today is sort of a reflection of, of, of your feelings? Well, honestly, I, I don't think we really uh, completely understand uh, what we got ourselves into. It. And in the global culture, then we think about everybody talking to each other with the idea of 9-11. They're completely contradicting ideas. Now, when you look at his pieces and you look at his kind of work, how do you think that speaks to people on so many different levels? Well, um, it, it really is a, a, an exhibition that we painted for the first time uh, in the history of the museum right on the wall. So this is art that's, that's very direct. And um, when people come in, their reactions really tell us how, how, how much they like it or how much it, it is disquieting to them, because it's a disquieting work as well as a beautiful piece. And I think that's the kind of thing we look for, um, something that will really speak to people at, at multiple levels. And that, that's really what this, this work does. Do you think your work really shows your kinship with Jersey City and actually the culture of the community and your closeness with that culture? Well, the whole idea of the project, Beautiful Ash Project is happening in Jersey City Museum. It, it's going to travel different countries, Spain, China, Brazil already started. And the idea is basically to take this reflection of what's happening in the world and the local and global culture and sort of create this contemporary version of the Guernica of Picasso, which is a difficult painting, and saying we need to look at those issues, a very close look, to try to make life better, you know, and... The idea is to wrap, make again the project by using the other culture and the other people in other country and take this, this, this ideology and this pain that we'll be going through uh, the turn of the millennium, combining of, with of which I call the birth pains of the turn of the millennium with this ideology of terrorism and radicalism. What, what is it doing in the global culture? And discuss that in a, in a much broader picture. You consider it sort of a performance piece, wouldn't you? Well, yes. And what's interesting about it, what what is uh, so dynamic about it, is that every time Duda goes to this these other countries, every country that he's visiting, he will engage um, young people uh, from local schools and uh, and art, you know, young artists. So. Um, and they will be drawing on the wall just like they drew on our wall. So we involved our community. It was truly a community effort with school and artists, and we had funding from foundations and, and from a local corporation. So it was, uh, it was a, a real community effort that he's going to bring to other countries. So when these young artists, along with Duda, um, begin to put their ideas on the wall, it is probably going to look very much different than what we have on our walls because their conception of what happened on 9-11 is going to be very different from ours. However, it's, it's also something that, it's something different in different people's point, from different people's point of view, but it's going to have similarities because we all had the experience. So that's what's going to be very exciting about it, I think, and we're so happy to be the, the first uh, venue for this wonderful exhibition. 
Tell us about some of the other exhibits and events going on well, at the museum. Well, um, in a minute or less. In a minute or less. <laughs> uh, we will be, uh, Duda's exhibition closes on March 2nd, and we will be opening a very, very wonderful exhibition uh, called Sprawl. And it's particular to New Jersey, with the, where we seem to have the problem, where we, we're always in discussion about sprawl in New Jersey. So this exhibition, which is the uh, New Jersey State Council and the Arts, Arts Annual, we are the site for it, will be, um, we'll be opening that exhibition on March 20th, just with a wonderful bunch of, of, of artists who um, really will be will be discussing that in their in their art. What does sprawl mean to them? That sounds exciting. And I know there are lots of other things that, of course, they can go to the website and find right, out about the that. the website. And remember, you can also see Duda Pindiato's Beauty for Ashes now through March 2nd at the Jersey City Museum. For more information, log on to jerseycitymuseum.org or call 201-413. 0303. And if you have ideas about topics you'd like to see discussed, please log on to my9tv.com and click on Public Affairs. We want to hear from you. That's all for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. For My9, I'm Brenda Blackman, and we'll see you next time for more Real Talk.